Hey y'all, my name is Lamia aka I am Gogo -Go, and today I'm doing a natural hair update video and I'm going to be talking about my hair. Nine months ago I did big chop and I big chopped, I cut off my big afro and now I went to like this much hair and now I have this much so I think the growth has been amazing. I still believe that my big chop was one of my best decisions because I don't know I got to experience short hair which I wanted for a long time and then I don't know like I kind of just felt cleansed when I cut all of my hair off and now that I have a baby fro it's just cute and cool and I'm letting it grow back now so yeah I think the last update video I gave you guys was my four month video and as you can tell it has grown a lot since then um since that video I believe I did get I got two trims and I don't really remember how much they took off but you know they just trimmed my ends and made the hair a little bit fresh I kind of feel like I'm due for a trim again like how often do you guys trim your ends because I don't know I kind of feel like I should get my hair trimmed again I want to just show you guys some of the products that I've been using and tell you guys a little bit about what I've been doing to my hair lately so lately I've been washing my hair about once a week I want to say yeah I think I wash about once a week um typically I used to go like longer without washing my hair but with short hair I feel like you can wash a little bit more frequently and like I do wash and goes a lot and they get smashed really fast and so I like to wash to revitalize the curls and just you know give my hair some life so definitely my favorite product right now would definitely be the Shea Moisture Curly Mousse and I really really like this mousse because it's the coconut hibiscus frizz free curl mousse and I think this mousse is really great because when you think of mousse you kind of think hard and crunchy this one really does not do any of that it leaves your hair feeling light um like it doesn't feel like residue it's just a really lightweight and I actually do feel like that it reduces frizz and this is really great for wash and goes if you watch my wash and go videos then you see that I kind of put this all over my head and then I like go through and define each curl and that's how I do my wash and goes and this is like my holy grail right now this is actually a full bottle because I just bought it from Target I had to refill this is amazing so if you do wash and goes you should definitely give this product a try and then the other two products that I'm a big fan of are are is this um kids CD for kids Carol's daughter detangler and then just a big white tooth comb. This is how I detangle my hair. I don't detangle every time I wash because I feel like that like I feel like detangling so much and combing through your hair so much like actually gives more breakage some people would disagree but in my personal experience that's just like extra I usually finger comb through my wash and goes or if I'm feeling like I haven't detangled in a while then I actually comb through with a comb like this and then go in with a smaller comb just to make sure that my hair doesn't have any knots and anything like that and I'm not really sure what my hair texture is also this is just a random note like I think this time around like with this new batch of hair I really feel like my hair my curls are a little bit looser I feel like they just are a little bit less coily than last time so those are the products that I've been using I've been just doing wash and goes and let me just do a quick length check as just so you can see how like my hair has progressed okay so this is I don't know if you guys can see if that light is like but yeah my hair is pretty much shoulder length I mean what am I talking about collarbone length maybe not quite look and this is what it's like this is how long my hair is it's grown a lot for nine months I think yeah this is like the length of my hair and I'm just gonna go through and basically measure some strands of my hair so I can get an accurate check of the length so you see it stops ah about right here and that is five inches there let's check the other side I mean I would assume every side is like growing the same but uh, so this one stops at about the same place right here 
a little bit before five so that's that now let's check the top okay everything is about the same it everything is not quite five inches but it's a little bit shy of that maybe what are these millimeters i don't know maybe four and three millimeter i don't know how these count but yeah so basically basically five inches literally like a few few lines shorter than five inches it seems like it's pretty even all around so i'm just gonna check some more spots to see and show you guys yeah everything is pretty much showing this that one was a bit shorter i do think the middle of my hair grows a little shorter i mean slower than the rest of my hair this is a struggle maybe there was a better way to do this but i'm doing it like this so oh this one was like directly at five so yeah pretty much my hair is five inches i know that's short but for nine months growth, I guess that's great. And I did trim twice, so I'm pretty happy with my growth. I do have really bad shrinkage. Like, this is a twist out, and it's still looking kind of small. And then my wash and goes are, like, really, really small. But I don't know. I'm actually just loving my hair right now. I've been doing protective styles, and I think that's helped with my growth. Um, What else? Yeah, I think that really i've been braiding my hair a lot and just keeping it low maintenance styles really just seem like they propel and are a catalyst for growth so so yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to show you guys just tell you guys how's it been going show you a few products i've been using and do a length check i will be doing an actual video for my hair care regimen and like all that i do throughout the week so you guys can look forward to that and also look forward to many more style and hair videos. I'm actually going to be reposting a hair review tomorrow. So if you want to keep an eye out for that, keep an eye out for that. And I'm going to be late to the gods tomorrow. So you guys will also see that. So thank you guys for watching my video. And if you liked it, please thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more hair videos, beauty videos, and DIY lifestyle. Thank you guys for watching again and see you guys next time.